Hey, I'm Flowey, Flowey KLBK, and welcome back to Undertale. Uh, let's continue our game. I don't believe I remember exactly where we were. Um, let's see. I don't, yeah, I don't think I know exactly where we were. Where were we were last time? I think I finished the date with Papyrus. I think that's where we left off. Um, pretty sure. Let me go ahead and save. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Yay, okay. Um, what do I have in my inventory? Item. Not much. Okay. Let's go ahead and go and continue. I think because I think I already went on the date with Papyrus, so I think we're set. Let's turn for that. So I think we're gonna go on and uh, see what's happening. And waterfall, because waterfall is awesome. Everybody loves waterfall. Who I mean who doesn't love waterfall? It's a beautiful place full of waterfalls. I don't know. Now I'm just being neurotic and stupid. I apologize. Here we go. It's so pretty. Isn't it pretty? Hi. Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey! Don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha! <laughs> this is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing I've heard over and over. <laughs> This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing I heard over and over. <laughs> the sight of a rushing water fills your determination. Yeah, all right. I look a sandy boy. What? How would you see a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to real beast. You want to come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. <laughs> over here. I know a shortcut. Again, I apologize for noise in the background. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast five minutes ago? Nah, I haven't eaten right breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. Put a whoopee cushion in my chair. Really? Really? <laughs> Oops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries or a burger? I want some fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grill me. Well, I'll have a couple of double order fries. <laughs> cool. Don't. What are you, are you combing your non head skeleton? Really? So, what do you think? Oh, my brother. Cool or uncool? Hey, he's pretty cool. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He don't want to take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well. At least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> uh, thanks, Grilly. Cool. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? No thanks. More for me. He just drank his bottle. What? Oh. Did you just scratch your butt? Ew. Okay. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he tries to keep him part of the royal god? One day, he went to the house of the head of the royal god and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. <laughs> but the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Music's fading. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Okay. What are you gonna... Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. So you do know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. So say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Pyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to pray a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. <laughs> Alright, interesting. I think he was talking about Flowey. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you float the bill? It's just 10,000 G. No. Just kidding. Groby, put it on my
about ten. <laughs> By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Alright. So, now let's go on a waterfall. <laughs> oh, did I just do that instead of going to the igloo? I'm such a dork. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's an igloo there for a reason. Alright, cool. Let's go. I'm excited. Let's continue on into the actual waterfall this time. Maybe we can actually get somewhere and do some cool stuff. Maybe. I don't know. By the way, I can actually record longer episodes now because I have um, Sony Vegas 14, which means I can edit on my computer, which means I don't have to limit to only half an hour. If you guys want to see longer Let's Plays, let me know. I'd be glad to do it. And if you want me to stick with a half an hour, let me know. Whatever works. I might do a longer one this time just because I can and because I want to see what happens if I do. But I don't want to make you guys angry or not have anyone watch it because it's too long. So I'll probably, if I do do a longer one, I'll probably keep it to like an hour. Probably. I don't know. Maybe not tonight though because to my friend I'd be on Skype later. So actually I might not just, I might cut this one short like it happened. Okay. The sound of the rushing water fills the termination. Sweet. Alright. Bye Sandy. Wait, what are you going to say now? Let's hang out again sometime. Okay. That was simple enough. Okay, let's see. This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Yeah, I know. Why would you though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Since really a box hater. Interesting. What's down here? It's an echo flower. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. I want to know who says that. Like, I want to know what the echo flowers, like, where they get their sayings from. So I have to go now. Oh, it's a tutu. Cool. There's a tutu laying on the ground. Will you take it? Yes. Take it. You're carrying too much. Great. Okay. Item. Uh, let's drop the monster candy. Or at least, can I use it? Do I need it? Not really, no. I don't need monster candy. Not really. Monster candy was thrown away. There's a tutu in the ground. You take it, take it. You got the old tutu. Okay. What does it do? I can't remember. Uh, info. Old tutu, armor defense 10. Finally, a protective piece of armor. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna equip it. Use. You equip the old tutu. Okay, sweet. So let's go ahead and put away the other thing I had. I forgot what it was. Use a box, yes. Okay. The mailing bay down. I don't need it anymore. X to finish. Okay, cool. Ah, crap. Forgot about that. It does push you down if you get knocked off. Let's try this again, shall we? Okay, wait. Go. Let's wait. Go. Got it. Okay. Let's continue. Ooh. Oh, it's Undyne. Yay. And Papyrus. Huh. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? D did I fight them? Y yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, well no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. Or what? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you, you don't you don't have to destroy them, you you see. You you see. Oh dear. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. She's mm, this is creepy. <laughs> Am I good? Oh, nope. Ooh, I love Undyne so much. She's so cool. Oh, she's so cool. Hi! How you doing? Please don't kill me. <laughs> yeah. We're good? We good, homie? Yeah, we're good. You, you just playing. She's just playing. We're okay. <laughs> uh, I love this game so much, man. Alright. There he is. Hi, buddy. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get 
her attention. <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat some of some bad guys. Oh, he's so cute. He reminds me of like the kids at my preschool I work with. Because I work at a preschool. I feel like a dread hangs over you, but you say determines. Oh, alright. I love the music in this game too. Oh, what does it say? When our four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Okay. So I grab this. And then I hit enter. Okay. Got it. I don't have a uh, controller, by the way. I'm using the, the arrow keys on my keyboard, which kind of suck. Especially for when the next battles are coming. I'm kind of scared about it, because it's probably not going to end well. <sighs> Alright. How do I get down there? Aaron flexes in. Oh, I don't want to attack you. Aaron, we have to flex. You flex. Aaron flex is twice as hard. Attack increases for two of you. Flexing contest? Okay. Flex more. Oh god. Ah! Crap. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Okay. Uh, flex again. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for the two of you. Nice. I won't lose though. Oh god. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Can I- nope. Gosh darn it. Can I shoot him? You tell Aaron to go away. Feisty, huh? Nope. I gotta keep flexing, I guess. Oh my gosh. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Okay. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. <laughs> you won. You earn 0 SP and 30 gold. Sweet. Again, you don't want to get XP in this game. That's not a good thing, trust me. Alright, so I want to read this sign. What does the sign say? Because I don't think I've ever actually read it before. These things are really cute, too. They're like little lilies. They're adorable. Alright. What's over here? Congratulations! You failed the puzzle. Really? Really? I just wasted my time doing that and that's what you're gonna say? Wow. Bravo. If an arrow has made the bell blossom, can call the bridge sheets back to where they started. Okay. That's bull crappity crap crap. Sorry. Seriously, that's so stupid. Alright, what do you do if you do this? Does it go to the end of the screen? Oh, they just disappear. Oh, wait! What, I, what happens if I do that? I wonder if I can get over there somehow. Because why else would that be there? Is there a way to get over there? Oh, it does! Okay. How strange. That's weird. Okay, I know what to do now. I looked it up on YouTube. Um, sorry about that. I I was just curious, because I know there's a secret. I just forgot how you do it. <laughs> so, hopefully this doesn't take too, too long. I don't have to edit too much out tomorrow. There we go. There's a lone key sitting underneath this bench. Will you take it? Ah, uh, crap. You got the abandoned quiche. Okay, cool. How much is it worth? I want to see, actually. I'm kind of curious. Info. Abandoned quiche heals 34 HP, a psych psycholo psychologically damaged spinach egg pie. That's so cool. Okay. What does this echo flower say? I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. <laughs> what does that mean? Who was there? And now I'm really curious. Oh wow, there's more than- that's cool. Okay, so now I can actually do the puzzle the way it's supposed to be done. Which is me... I believe it's like this. I'm not 100% sure, actually, now. I'm not thinking about it. Crap. Like that, maybe? Nope, not it. 
I don't know how the actual puzzle is done now. <laughs> Shite. Uh, are they, they still there? That's cool. No, I can't remember how to do the actual puzzle now. That's not good. <laughs> um. That's the same length. This is the same length. How do you do the actual puzzle? Like that? Probably? No. Because I have to get to the other side. Gosh darn it. I can't remember. I can't remember how you do the actual puzzle. Ugh, that's not good. Yeah, it has to be... One of these has to be correct. It's not this one. Is it this one? No, it's not, because there has to be a four. Gosh darn it, I can't remember how you did the puzzle. Wow, I feel stupid. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Good gosh, okay. I'm so confused right now. Oh, okay, I think I got it. Right, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Sorry, it took me for a second to figure out how exactly you're supposed to do it again, and now I remember. Right, okay. I got it, I got it. You can actually get on the bridge, that'd be fantastic. Right, one more. I was like, how do you need the puzzle again? <laughs> That'll take forever to figure out for some reason. Alright, come on. Get across the bridge. My character- No! Damn it! Fuck. I was too far over to the right. Jesus, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alright, give me just a second. Okay. Let's try this again. Get over here. Get- Will you get across the bridge? Is that right? Yes. Okay. You can't see what I'm doing. That's the only issue with this game. You can't see. Okay. So, here. Yes. Alright, last one. Hopefully I do this one correctly this time. There we go. Good gosh, that took way too long. Okay. <laughs> Again, give me a break. Don't judge me. Ring. Hello. This is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. Sorry. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? What will you say? Yes. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Click. Okay, now I need to do... No, wait. Ah. Uh, there's a funny thing that happens later in the game, and I'll tell you what happens in a minute. It's really, really funny. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's continue. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hope with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones in the ceiling. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king can prove that. Come on, sis, make a wish. Oh. Washua shuffles up. Ah, uh, Washua, clean. You ask Washua to clean you. And hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Oh no. Washua looking for someone to go clean fine. You ask Washua to clean you. It helps run excitedly. Green means clean! Do I have to actually get the green ones before you let me go? There you go. Crap. Washua is friends with a little bit- a little bird. There we go. You won, you earned your speed 25 gold. Sweet. Alright, I have to go back and read this now. 
Wishing room. Oh. <laughs> well, that was stupid. I wish my sister and I will see the real star someday. Aww. Look through the telescope. Yes. Check the wall. Okay. Check the wall where? Up here? Wait, what's down here? What does this one say? Ah! Same as my horoscope is the same as last week's. <laughs> I love the passing conversations. Nice. I want to know what's down here. What the purpose of this is. Because there's not a dock there for no reason. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of ev nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Can I get on? Can I go down? No. Nope. Have to go this way. I was thinking maybe I can take that down to the other part that I told you I didn't know what was. Ooh, yay! Here we go. Excitement. Yeah! <laughs> Hi! Oh gosh. Run, little buddy, run! Run, Frisk! Run, run! Ah! Rah. I'm gonna die. Alright. I can't open the menu? I can't use an item? Oh god. Oh god! I'm gonna die. Ah! I'm gonna die, 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 I'm gonna die! Oh gosh. Okay, we're good. Whew. I was scared for a second there. I was like, I'm probably gonna die because I can't use an item and I'm gonna run out of health. Hi! What are you gonna do? Please don't hurt me. Okay, we're good. Whew. Hi, it's Monster Kid! <laughs> Put him down, you dork. Bye, I'm dying. See you later. <laughs> cool. Alright. Cheat, there's another one. What are these docks for? They're not here for no reason, I'm telling you. There's something with those docks. I want to know what it is. <laughs> Hi! Yo! Did you see that? I'm dying just... Touch me! I'm never washing my face again. Man, aren't you unlucky. If you were sitting just a little bit to the left... Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. My voice for Matcha Kid kind of sounds like my voice for Flowey. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crust has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Of course it is. What's <laughs> in here? Squeak, squeak! Aw, that's cute. Squeak! Aw, oh, that's adorable! <laughs> Knowing the mouse might one next day extract the cheese from the magic crystal, it fills with determination. Oh, sorry. There you go. Okay. Well, let's go on a little bit further until the next save point, and then I'll go ahead and end the episode because I feel like I've spent a lot of time on that stupid sea puzzle. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 5,000 to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope? Yeah, even though I already know what happens when you use it. <laughs> what? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. <laughs> now look. <laughs> he put ink around the freaking eye hole. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Use a box, yes. Alright, I think this is where the store is, so I think I might want to get rid of... Let me see. I don't need a monster candy. Yeah, sorry, I mean to do that. I don't need a tough glove either. Okay, so let's go in here and see what he has. Oh wait, is it not him? Oh, it's an ice cream guy. Hi! I really look at my store, but there's still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards. 
Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. An ice cream, just the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now it's just 25G. Um, sure. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. You got the ice cream. Sweet. Box contains one card. Take a card. Nah, it's fine. I'll need free ice cream. I got plenty of ice cream. What's in here? The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Alright. <laughs> For an ice cream? Okay. What's this little guy? Hi. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? No, I don't want you to touch, eat, or kill me. What's this one? Oh, yeah, the bird that carries you across. It's a cute little guy, isn't it? What's down here? I love this music, by the way. So pretty. Alright, what does this say? You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. No, no wishes are stupid. It's over here. Oh, encounters. You walk into a line of moles laws. Spare. You earn zero speed and zero gold. What's over here? It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? I don't need it, because those are attack and I don't need attack. What are the mushrooms for? Is this for late, I guess? Just for the effects of late. Alright, let's continue down, I guess. Yep, gotta go down. It's easy to get lost here. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you was very... murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. And Dusty too, too. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This is this way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. But I'm still wearing the tutu. I was trying to tell you guys earlier is that if you, even if you change, even if you change clothes after he tells you, asks you what you're wearing, he'll say, oh, I didn't want to lie to her, so I told her the truth. Or no, I'm sorry. I lied to her and told her you're wearing a bandana or whatever or something else in your inventory and you'll be wearing it. So no matter what you do, you're always wearing what he says you're, that he told her you're wearing. Which is kind of funny. It's a really funny mechanic of the game. I've tried it before. Alright, anyway. You walk in Moleslaw. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Zero gold. Alright, continue. So we gotta go ahead and go up here now. And then... Nope. I gotta look at the flower first. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. So what's up here? And up here. <laughs> Big giant circle. Oh. More stuff, more encounters. Washua and Aaron up here. I don't really need you guys right now, sorry. I'm already done you guys both. What's this? The power to take their souls. This is the power the humans feared. Hmm. Ooh. Oh yay, it's Onion Sand! Oh, I love Onion Sand. <laughs> yay. Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh. Hi there! Notice you are here! I'm Onion Sang! Onion Sang, you here? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it here, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. <laughs> He's so cute. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but uh, hey! That's okay! It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. Aw, poor buddy. All lonely. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I did, I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? I died to fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? <laughs> yeah, I hear. <laughs> hey! Hey there! That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. And waterfall! <laughs> Bye, Anya 
Man Sand. Oh, I freaking love him. Shirein hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Shirein, we have to conduct or hum. You hum a funky tune. Oh god, your face. Shirein follows your melody. See Ray, see Ray, see me, see me. Shirein seems much more comfortable singing along. Yay! You want your and zero speed and 30 gold. Okay, so what's up here? Oh, the piano! Okay, I won't do this yet, just so I can show you something. A hunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Don't only the first eight are fine. Okay. I know what the tune is, but just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it is without just playing it. The Northern Room hides a great treasure. Yeah, I'm aware. This power has no encounter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. Jacksepticeye? <laughs> a boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human can absorb the soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. Mm, interesting. It's a statue. The staff the structures at its feet seem dry. Huh. Oh, there's an umbrella. I'm gonna cover the statue and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Take the umbrella? Yes. Okay, you took an umbrella. So now I'm gonna go ahead and read the sign. Please take one. Okay. And I'm gonna go give this to the statue. Put the umbrella on the statue. Yes. Oh, so nice. You place the umbrella on top of the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Oh, So cool. Alright. So now I have to go back. And now that I know the tune, I already knew it anyway, but I just wanted to show you guys what it sounded like. I can play the piano. And open this, which gets to see something really cool. There's a piano here. Play it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Nope, did it wrong already. Nope, still did it wrong. There it is. Cool. Dun, 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 dun. Nice. That's the tune. There's the artifact. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Yes. You're carrying too many dogs. Hmm. Cool. I'm, yeah, I'm carrying too many dogs. Okay, got it. You're like, what dog? What are you talking about? Annoying dog. Use. You deployed the dog. <laughs> the dog absorbs the artifact. <laughs> That's like one of my favorite parts of the game. Now look at this. Dog residue. And food. The dog residue. Dog item. Dirty dishes left by a dog. Now, dog residue is very important later on in the game. And you'll see why. But I'm not going to tell you why. Um, I'll tell you why later. And I, when I get to that point, you'll know why it's so important. I love that music. It's one of my favorite soundtracks in the entire game. Because it's so simplistic, yet it's so pretty. It's just so nice. I like it. It's raining! I don't need an umbrella for rain. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty cool with that. Yo! You can't hold an umbrella either! If you're walking away anyway, I guess I'll go with you. <laughs> let's go! Alright, let's go. Yes, I realize I've been recording for quite a while. I didn't realize I would be recording for this long before the next save point. But this is fun. I'm having a lot of fun. I don't really mind. Man, I thought you was so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wake the bed every night knowing she was going to beat me up. <laughs> well, aren't you excited? It's raining again. It's raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. So, one time... 
We had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if my dad came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. <laughs> um, maybe she would beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. There we go. Aw, look at the castle. So nice. I love the background of the game. It's so pretty. Toby Fox is a genius. Are you coming, bud? <laughs> Here we go. Are we almost there? More umbrellas. Yo! This ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb my shoulders. Alright, if you insist. Yo, yo, go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll always find a way to get through. Oh, <laughs> he's so cute. So adorable. Is there a safe point? Okay, thank God. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save here. The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills with determination. Alright, cool. Let me read these signs. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and went without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. It's been fun. A lot of fun. These cute little puzzles and Monster Kid joining us in our little endeavors. Oh, Monster Kid is so cute. I'm sorry if my voice for Monster Kid sounds like my voice for Flowey. I didn't really intend for that to happen. It kind of just did. So... Maybe I'll make him higher pitched and less scratchy sounding, because Flowey I make scratchy just to make him sound evil like, Howdy, I'm Flowey! Because <laughs> that's how Jack did it. But, um, yeah, hopefully I can do that better next time. And Undyne's voice is really hard for me to do as well, because I want to make her sound like a punk. But at the same time, you'll see what I mean. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this, and as always, stay determined. Like a boss! Love, Flowey, your very best friend. Bye!